Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I would like to make a little more progress on the Glitz Pit, so let's get a match reserved right away. Chomp Country is next and they have very high attack power. Um, can't attack for the first three turns. What? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm not even going to be fighting this battle, if that makes sense. I guess I'm going to show you something right here. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here, if that's okay. Do with it what you will. More cake! Woo! Let's eat the cake! I love cake! You can bust it cake! Wow, it looks totally yummy! I cannot say no to cake! Let's scarf that thing! Okie dokie! Yes! Cake time! Oh, mm, this is all so good. Hold your horses, Mario. I saved you a little... Um, yeah. Wait, I feel kind of weird. You ever feel like your body is, is like totally going numb? Yeah, if you eat the second cake, you lose your partner for the match. They can't join you in the match, and that's what I wanted to show you here. Um, and I'm actually going to end up quitting the match because I still got to tattle the chomps. But yeah, I just wanted to show this for the sake of the walkthrough. No, I can't move. What? Your partner's been paralyzed by a cake? Tough luck. We gotta go. The house is packed. Come on, follow me. So yeah, they, he takes us to the arena and... Well, you, ha you would have to face off against these bruisers without a partner. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner in the Red Or Fire Orbs Chomp Country. Whoa, hold the phone, folks. What in the nation is going on here? The Great Gonzalez is flying solo this time. How's he going to survive all alone? <laughs> <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! And, well, since I can't attack for the first three turns anyway, um... I mean, I, mean, I, I could defeat them with stuff, like special stuff, but I would like to just at least, in this battle for the time being, Get the star meter up. Ugh! Ugh! You know, just uh, f just for the next battle here. You'll see what I'm planning in just a minute here. Mm -hmm. Such high attack power. Ugh! And thus, I am now going to run. <laughs> oh, I failed! The first time I failed at running in this walkthrough. You have to... Arrow is outside the gauge, you fail at running, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, I made it! We got ourselves a winner of Chomp Country! <laughs> yeah, even they have victory, um, uh, victory speeches, like all the enemies in the glitch, I um, mean, all the opponents in the glitz pit. And my, uh, my ranking remained the same. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what happens if you um, should ever uh, lose your partner for said battle. I'm like, so sorry, Mario. You were all alone out there. No wonder you lost. <laughs> hey, but I'm totally fine now. I'll make it up to you next battle, I promise. Still, poison cake? Somebody wanted us out of the picture. You better watch our steps. And yeah, Jolene brought that cake in. Arr! I don't trust her one bit. Not one bit. Alright, stats are recovered. Let's go face off against Chomp Country again, now that I showed you it's like... Mm, oh, I didn't see... Oopsie. Um, <laughs> did he say I'm not not supposed to attack for three turns again? I clicked through that so fast, I'm so sorry, but that's okay. They're going to remind me uh, when I go back to ye old battle here anyway. So it doesn't really matter that I clicked through it like a madman. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Alright, what's the requirements for this battle to win? Uh, it's going to be appeal to the crowd at least three times. Okie dokie. I didn't plan on doing that anyway. I mean, you know, to at least uh, get the star points up so I can get their, um, get the Earth Tremor going because I need two for that. You know, two star points for that. Or star power, not, not star points are experience points, excuse me. That's a red chomp! It's a rabid, red biting, chewing, chomping fool! Max HP is 6, attack, attack is 5, and defense is 3. His attacks are so powerful, we could be in a world of fur if we don't beat it fast. 
which is why it's really, really lame that its defense is so high. Its HP is pretty low though, so fighting the special moves might just work. Just look at that color! Think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can just like burn one more turn just to appeal. I mean, I mean, you know, burn two more turns with uh, like that. Yep. Oh, wait, hold on, what am I doing? Appeal, yay! Okay. So I met the requirements. And now I can just Earth Tremor them away in my next turn. <laughs> Behold my power! Actually, I better concentrate because if I fail this, it's gonna be an uphill battle to say the least. Well, okay, maybe it won't be that bad, but I would just kind of set myself up to rely on this maybe a little bit too much. Because it's got, I mean, those chomps have such high attack power, I mean, such high defense power. <laughs> it's just pushing up the stakes. I guess the stakes are their weakness. Actually, it does make a lot of sense, because, you know, you can free them by pounding on their stakes. Woo! We got ourselves a winner of the Great Gonzales! Woo! Victory! It's so sweet. Yes! Yes, and yes. But who is ranked number one? Him! You, how dare you interfere with my meditation. Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. Yeah, I'll take a rest. <sighs> Alright, let's go and reserve another match. Mm, yes, yes. The Koopanator! Yeah, that's his name. Not attack for the first three turns, that's a pain! <laughs> okay, I suppose I can pull it off just by doing appeals and tattles and stuff like that. Alright, here we go! Versus the number one fighter who is technically number two in the Glitz Pit! The Koopanator. A razor blade brigadier, the Koopanator! You, finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who is truly stronger. Yes, we will, after I completely ignore the first three turns. <laughs> um, actually, you know what I could do? Swap to Goombella, uh, do the tattles, just kind of like use Goombella as a shield. That's a dark goo patrol. These guys just totally use toughness, don't you think? Max HP is 25, attack is 5, and defense is 2. After it charges up power, its a next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are there to warn you how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get enough much sleep. <laughs> uh, what I plan on doing here is... Charge! Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, I can actually attack both you and your partner, so that's... That's something right there. Um, should probably swap to a different partner, actually. How about? Yoster. He's good at penetrating. And charge? Mm -hmm. Oh no, Yoster! Yeah, some uh, his attack. I mean, he, he switches between that attack both your. I mean, the opponent I, uh, attack you and your partner, and just attacking the one in front. That's why I switched to a uh, character just to... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here, just to sort of burn a turn, as well as using it as a shield. For some reason, I could not spit that out. I, I have no idea why. Alright, last charge. And then it is on. Alright, so... Oops, I should probably attack now. <laughs> Remember, the first three turns are over, so I can now do this. My finger actually slipped on the shoulder button. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm gonna show the super hammer now. Never showed that before. Yeah, if an enemy is... I mean, if there's something behind the enemy... Um... It'll bump that enemy into that enemy. Alright. 
an actual good gulp this time. Oh, a little bit late on my timing. That's fine. That's fine. Mm, normal hammer is good. It's fine. Then I'll set up the old Earth Tremor. Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> um, probably better off swapping then. So I've really got to watch my flower points seriously. Um, all right, Earth Tremor. I guess I can do it now. I mean, he's not charged up or anything like that, so it's relatively safe to uh, do this, even though he's going to be at low HP. As long as I get him below... Uh, uh, like, four or below, I should be fine on the next turn. Oh! oh I choked. <laughs> well, he's at five. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Alright, let's do this, shall we? Woo! And attack with Super Hammer! Yeah! I can't believe I keep failing attacks today, what's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, rocks. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna... Gonna, gonna... Yeah, I know I could recover uh, flower points with uh, Seraph, so I'm, I'm just kind of conserving them, is what I'm doing. I mean, conserving items, of course, not uh, uh, conserving my stats, because I can get my stats back any time. <laughs> uh, oh, no can. Bad can. Yeah! Alright, Sheltos. Oh yeah, it's I mean, it's, I didn't upgrade coops, right? Man, I am clearly not thinking through my battle strategy, am I? <laughs> Alright, it's just one more turn. Ooh. That's what happens when he boosts his attack. Uh, but I'm not, not gonna let him do that. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Woo! We are now number one! Below the champion. <laughs> Woo! I wonder how the Glitz Pit rankings work anyway. I mean, we're always battling people above us, but it seems like everyone's battling ones below them, and yeah, why don't we ever battle people below us? Like, how does this registration and match system work anyway? Woo! Number one! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh oh. Hey, another merry male Mario. Who is it this time? Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. What? That it sounds like they're trying to mess up my reputation by stopping advertisements. The great Gonzalez posters in the lobby, huh? We have to peel them off. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, and I should also probably do this as well. I should probably also talk to my very worthy opponent here with a lot of defense points. You, should you ever face me again, you will know the pain of utter defeat. You are an honorable adversary, though. I gotta give you that. Alright, let's go to the lobby. Oh boy. wonder what's at the lobby. But I know I need flurry. Actually, I shouldn't feign ignorance. I know what's in the lobby. <laughs> uh, it's on the second floor. Uh, the thing that you're looking for, but I'm just gonna uh, blow stuff away. Oh, I actually had it. I'm gonna blow stuff away on this floor just for the fun of it. I don't actually think there are anything... There's anything of interest here, actually. I'm just gonna blow stuff away for the fun of it. Yeah, I don't think there's any items or anything like that. Just gotta do that for funsies. Oh, oh, oh! What? Sir What's going on with this poster? It's like it, it refuses to go off the wall, okay. <laughs> what, what, oh, now it's in the foreground, or that one's in the foreground, what? What is all this blasphemy with the posters? Yeah, as I said, the thing you're looking for is on the second floor. I think it's the left poster, so I'm gonna do the right one first. Yep, that's what I thought. And... Oh! Another storage key. Whatever could that key be for? 
go to the second floor of the storage room from X. Yeah, if that wasn't obvious, if you didn't notice that locked door when you were through there before, now it's pointed out to you. Well, hello there, lovely tiger of a man, you. You're fantastic, dear. The gossips have made it so that you've made some headway in the Major League. And I doubt you can be raw <clears throat> beat Rawcock, you poor thing. You're simply too stringy. <laughs> the only man for me is the one wearing that shiny belt. Toodaloo! Well, I'll be the one wearing that belt soon enough. Welcome to the... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, do you reporters have something to say to, to a major leaguer now? Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez, two questions. Uh, how is your mind state? And if you were a ju jungle animal, what noise did you make? <laughs> yeah, so now they're all excited to do all sorts of reporting on the great Gonzalez, because all the posters in the lobby, as well as my reputation, just is just awesome, I guess, I suppose. <laughs> What if I swap to Yoshter? <clears throat> Get pumped, Yoshter! My title match is coming up. I'm pulling all the way, you <clears throat> pulling for all the way, Yoshter. Yeah, give him heck. <laughs> all right, let's go over to the second floor of the storage room and see what's up. Like, quite literally, because it's on the second floor. Hopefully, no one will see us along the way. Oh no! Oh no! Don't look this way. I'm just gonna. I don't think we were spotted. Alright, so... Oh! Missed the edge of the railing. <laughs> this is what the key's for. What could be in here? What could be in here? Hmm. Um, there is a star piece behind the box. So don't forget about that in here. I just wanna... Yeah. Is it like... No, not there. Is it behind this one right here? Mm. Ah, oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me! Bandy Andy and King K! Oh! G G Gonzalez, listen to me. Oh, man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Oh! Come, come, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean, don't go near the ring? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, oh, that's not good. But that's good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, it looks like we found the locations of a couple of missing fighters, but I wish they would tell us why not to go near the ring when no one's around. What the, Jolene? This is craziness. What is going on here? Okay, Jolene. I seen you. Where are you? Get back here. Where'd she go off to? Oh, well, she is known to vanish. Maybe the toilet got her. Ah. Looks like I lost her. It's too bad. Ooh, shiny. Oh. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder where she went off to. Eh. Perhaps we'll find that out in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.